Hi guys, this is Amar and welcome to Network Engineer Stuff. So guys, in this video, we are going to focus on a troubleshooting ticket and this is the problem statement of that ticket. The problem statement is that branch users are not able to access admin server 10.1.1.7. There's a partial drop in ping from uh, branch users to servers. So this is the branch users and uh, this is the admin server. So this is this will be our source and this admin server will be the destination, correct? And uh, as you see guys, uh, this is a very uh, straightforward site where we have uh, uh, two different sites basically and uh, where we have this HQ router and the branch router. They are connected via some WAN link and we have this HQ switch and branch switch to which the users and the servers are connected. So, from the branch user, we are not able to access the admin server. So, let's let's ping and check whether we are actually able to access or not. So, I have the access here to the, uh, to the devices. So, I'll just adjust. Okay, this, this is fine. So, this is my branch user 1 PC. You can check the IP address. Uh, the IP address here is... 20.1.1.100 which is this particular branch user and uh, the gateway is correctly configured. Now when we are troubleshooting from this PC's point of view, right, the users are complaining they are not able to access some server. What is the first thing we will do? Of course the ping. So we will check the ping 10.1.1.7 the admin server. You can see as the packet, one packet is ok. So this is, this is the sequence now. Now, this is a bit interesting, guys. Now, this kind of issues do come. You can see I have pinged 10.1.1.7. Correct. So, one packet is successful. Again, a timeout, a packet drop. Successful. Packet drop. Successful. So, this is how it is. This is the problem. So, there is a partial uh, drop in the ping. One packet is getting reached to the destination. The other packet is not getting reached to the destination. It is getting dropped somewhere, right? So this is the this is the ticket. Now you'll see such kind of scenarios in um, in in real uh, network where uh, this kind of uh, partial ping drops are happening. Now, there are various reasons for this partial ping drop. One of the reason is routing. The routing is not proper. Okay, so that is one of the reason. So this is one thing what you will check um, check in this um, from this PC. This is one thing what you can check. The other thing um, you can check is whether the trace how it is going, how the trace is going. So in many videos, guys, I have already told that. Many times that ping and trace, these are the two tools which a network engineer use a lot when troubleshooting. So you will see the trace here, how the trace is going. Okay, so the trace is going like this. Okay, if you see there's something which is like 20.1.1.1, .1 which is the gateway, that is fine. 12.1.1.1, .1 which is this uh, this particular IP. So the first hop is this particular router, okay, and after that uh, the second hop is 12.1.1.1, which is also fine. Then you can see here that destination port unreachable. If something is happening over here, after which yes, it is reaching to 10.1.1.7, but you can see that you know this is a partial uh, packet drop. So we have to check somewhere. So what we'll do is we'll, we'll check hop by hop. That is the best approach we can keep here. Because we are seeing there's some issue basically after this hop number 2 which is on this particular router. So let's check on this particular router. Okay fine. So we'll check on this particular router. That is fine. On HQ router. I have the access to the HQ router as well. Now here is my HQ router. Now, if I go on this HQ router and give this command 10.1.1.7, okay, show IP route, yes, show IP route. So, this is the command to check the route, right? 10.1.1.7. So, 
so you can see here that 10.1.1.7 is directly connected so that is fine right that is directly connected via ethernet 1 slash 1 which is correct this is ethernet 1 slash 1 this particular interface is ethernet 1 slash 1 right this particular interface so this is this is correct so there is nothing uh, wrong with this particular thing the routing is correct on on the on this particular router now why it is happening so why the packets are getting dropped then this is the problem okay now let's ping this particular uh, ip and check from uh, from the router ping 10.1.1.7 it is able to you are able to ping it uh, successfully right there's no issue with this particular uh, destination we are able to ping from the router so what is the problem guys from here when i am pinging to this destination it is pinging very well but when i am trying to ping from here it is not pinging a packet drop is there a partial packet drop is happening let's let's ping from branch router and check what is what is the scenario let's do it from the branch router so i have the access to the branch router as well so if I ping 10.1.1.7, it is able to ping from the branch router also I am able to ping guys. There is no issue with the branch router also you can see successfully pinging. What is the issue guys then? I know we are, we are able to ping uh, from both the routers successfully. Okay, so we are able to ping from this router, from this router but we are not able to ping from this users. Okay, we are not able to ping from this users. What is the problem? Now let's check it like step by step. Okay. Now let's say we are not able to access it from uh, from source to destination. We are trying to trying to troubleshoot it. Okay. But we are not able to. We are seeing that in one direction it is going fine. Okay. I checked it from here from the branch router. I checked from the HQ router. Everything is working fine. When I'm pinging ten dot one dot one dot seven. So let's change the approach and change the direction of troubleshooting let's go in the reverse direction now let's go in the reverse direction so we will start troubleshooting from here now from the admin server okay so we don't have the access to the admin server because yes we are network people so we don't have the access to the admin user only thing is that this particular branch users are along with us on the call and so we are we have the access to the branch users but but this admin server we don't have the access to the admin server this is different team so what we'll do so the only thing what we have is this particular router so what we'll do is we are now going in the reverse direction so let's from this router we'll ping this users and check whether we are able to reach or not because this ping whenever ping is there you know we are we are we are trying to access it's a two-way communication right the branch user will make some request to a server and of course the server again will uh will, will respond to that request right so this is what is in ping also happening so let's check from that point of view now so what i'll do is i'll go on this hq router and check so this is my hq router i have and now I'll try to ping 20.1.1.100. I'm able to ping. That is fine. It is working fine. 20.1.1.100 is also working fine. If you see here, it is working fine for me. I don't know what is the issue. Let's check it again. Trace route It is now we are now tracing 20.1.1.100 and if you check okay it is dropping ping got successful but this is dropping 12.1.1.2 so this is the router and uh, this is the branch router 12.1.1.2 and after that it is reaching but there is something a drop over here right 
you will see the sum drop over here. Let's check the route. Show route twenty dot one dot one dot hundred. Show IP route, guys. IP route twenty dot one dot one dot hundred. And you can see over here that uh, it have two routes. One is twelve dot one dot one dot two, which is uh, this particular router itself. Okay, so twelve dot one dot one dot two is this router. Okay, which is correct. And we have one more route, which is ten dot one dot one dot two hundred, which is what? Which is some user over here in this HQ, which is connected to the HQ switch. Now, for this particular destination, twenty dot one dot one dot hundred, for this complete subnet, we have a route which is pointing towards ten dot ten dot or uh, ten dot one dot one dot two hundred, which is absolutely wrong. That is the reason, maybe that you know, I am I've got this particular uh, uh, drop in my trace route. If you see over here also, I've got a particular drop in my trace route. So that will be case. So this is a wrong route which is present. So we have to correct this. So let's correct it. So if I go and check, so this is basically learned. Uh, if you see here, the AD value it is learned via static route. AD value is one. So this is a there's maybe some static route. So let's check it. I'll go into enable, show run pipe include IP route. If you check, yeah, so there are two static routes present. Okay, so I'll remove this. This is not required. This is something which was present and which is not required. So in real environment, you'll see that you know sometimes in that router some unnecessary routing configuration is present and which which actually leads to some issues. Many a times, so this is something a route which was present, which was not required, and it it was not removed, you know. So and now I have removed it. Now we will check the trace route which was not getting successful from here, which was having some a drop. So now we will check it. It taking some time. Okay. So now we have to check whether we are able to get that particular uh, trace out or not. Yes, you see there is no drop, which which earlier we were getting. So it is now raised to twelve dot one dot one dot two successfully, which is the branch router, and then directly to this. So there's a difference between the output. If you see this output, where we where we got one drop, and this output uh, where we didn't get any drop. So there's a difference, right? Okay, now let's check from the branch users the ping. Now you can see, guys, we are able to ping it successfully. So, just to summarize what happened in this particular ticket is that from this branch users, we were not able to access uh, the admin server, and we checked everything. The this particular path we checked it was fine, but when the packet was going in the reverse direction. Here on this router, on HQ router, there were two routes present. One pointing towards the correct direction, that is to the branch router, and one pointing towards the LAN again. So that was creating a problem. So when the reverse packets were coming, one packet was going in this direction, the other packet was going in this direction. So in two directions, the packet was going. So this this was not required that particular route was not required and we removed that route so in real environment guys this do happen that you have multiple routes and uh, which are of no use and most of those are static routes which are preferred ones so this kind of issues do happen in the real environment so guys i'll stop in this troubleshooting ticket over here uh i tried to show you some real time uh, experiences which i had in my in, in my experience so I'll stop here. I'll catch up in the next video. And then please do subscribe to my channel. Comment on my videos. Please do share those with your friends and colleagues. I'll stop. Catch up in the next video. Till then, bye. Thanks and have a nice day. Thank you.